What the? Are you Brian? He looks like some kind of priest. He looks like some kind of priest. Do we have anything else to do here? Enormous satin drapes. The doors are closed. Lantern. Quaint. And they go with the general decor of the place. Oil lamps. Or whatever their magical equivalent may be called. Magical equivalent? Oil lamps. Or whatever their magical equivalent may be called. Why would you think this is uh, magic, though? <laughs> it's too early to say that. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the priest. Hello? Hmm, he looks like a zombie. Hi. Does he speak English? He does not speak. Et tu? Emilie, tu va? I don't understand. <laughs> Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Parlez-vous français? Habla espagnol? Oh shit, she knows uh, she... Star Cayenne Paras. Inomalante Candra. April is uh, bilingual. God damn. Way to go, girl. Uh. Where's Cortez? To Tone Eken. To Ken Vermilia Fata Tim Tu Vermilian Ton. Vermilian Ton? What the hell is that? Uh, where am I? Sarkis Tui. Tonan to Ken Avot, a magican and ton an asans. Magican? Who are you? Ken Esank, Maris or Tona, magic and pose ton. Sare alvoca im iriam to a ethium. I'm gonna call you Ortona then. Hmm. Listen. Aku can be good. Good? Niranton al voce. Sank al coda magic. Torante. Magic. Alhe. Naven. All tongue. All tongue. Uh. What does all tongue mean? What does all tongue mean? Maris, tu verinellian aran tu torank lock eton. I don't think we're going anywhere with this guy. Aku kandi. I don't understand. Uh, sorry, but I don't understand a single word you're saying. Sorry, but I don't understand a single word you're saying. To a eres to montraki ton, to et vermilion fata. Do you just say uh, futa? Oh God. Aku kandi. Listen some more. A beginning, parasim tin. No, beginning. You have theesa in magic, Sara. Huh? E the knowledge. Aritua ya itue by generations e umani. Knowledge of all tongue. You're starting to make sense, huh? Maybe if we actually listen to him some more, we'll actually start learning. What do you mean by magic and knowledge? Magike. Ken Ean Sane to a Toranke Lock Maris Aku Kandi. Hmm. Av Orta. You're starting to make sense. You're starting to make sense. Well, a little bit. Magike. Ken Ean. Well, never mind. <laughs> Aku. Yeah, so I guess the goal you here. allowed the magic to enter your heart. Ah. The knowledge of all tongues. Ever present but dormant to guide your ears and your tongue. I I understand you. You speak English? Why didn't you just tell me straight away? <laughs> no, child. I do not speak English. I speak Naven, all tongue, the common language of Arcadia. 
Arcadia? Arcadia? Wait a second. How did I get here? What is this place and who the hell are you? Oh, my but the Dreamcast isn't out yet. yet. I'm afraid my preoccupation with ancient texts and the company of my fellow fathers have left me unequipped with the grace of social intercourse. Meaning what? That I have been rude. My name, dear child, is Tobias Grensret. Tobias. And I am the Vestrum of the Sentinel, the Order of the Balance. We are the fathers. Uh... uh okay. I'm April. April Ryan. I take it this is your first shift, your first passage through the Divide? Divide? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guess this is my first shift. I just... Then I will explain everything. Someone must. You are without guidance. Without a mentor? Uh... Mentor? Cortez, There's maybe? This guy Cortez. He... Assisted me, told me about magic and truth and dreams and portals, crazy stuff. Well, it seemed crazy at the time, although now I don't. Cortez? Ah, yes, Cortez. Very good, very good. Then come, let us proceed. Let me show you Mercuria, the grandest city of all ages. He definitely sounds like the wood spirit. Right, viewers? Maybe the same same voice actors. Probably the, they are the same person. Whoa! Oh, is this Morrowind? Explore Mercuria, April. See the sights, meet the people, and then, when you are ready, return to the temple. I will answer whatever questions you may have then. Holy hell! What the hell? Where are we at? Is it some fantasy world? Fantasy world? What the hell is going on here? Oh, this blonde lady. Oh, that's not a... Well, she's gonna... Well, I'm sorry that I'm blocking your way. <laughs> it's tall's... Hmm. Alright. Oh. We're in a completely different area, huh? What is this, a different world? We still don't have any idea. There's Arcadia, the Balance, whatchamacallit. We heard a lot of uh, new words. Hmm. The stalls. The whole fountain's been carved in one piece from a granite like material. Very impressive. Nice fountain. Beast and rider. What the hell kind of animal is that? Looks like a dinosaur. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. City. Uh. Where can we go from here? Oh, we can go to a lot of places, but. Cannot uh, inspect any of these people. So let's go ahead and explore. Let's check the stalls first. Whoa. That's a crow. Is that where the hell am I? Oh. Now that's a dancer? In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. <laughs> and it's pretty darn good. Huh. Was that a mocap? In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. 
and it's pretty darn good. I don't know if it's pretty good. My intuition tells me maps that he sells maps. <laughs> it's the maps merchant. Maps merchants. Oh, that's a crow. A raven? They cannot tell the difference. So. Sorry-looking bird. Hey, you don't look too polished yourself, lady. Oops. I what? didn't know you could talk. Didn't look as if you could talk either. Oh. It's a talking bird. Oh, a talking bird. Ah, damn. Cups game. It's a game of some kind. Your cups handler. That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. What is this? A mask? I don't know if it's a mask. It's probably some sort of a decoration. I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. He's not gonna talk to us? Everything is gonna come and talk to us in this world, right? Oh, good thing that we actually brought... Uh... It's Constable Guybrush. My toy... Ape. It's Constable Guybrush. My toy... Ape. Constable. Uh... Oh, I can't talk to the dancers. Go ahead and talk to the merchant here. Maps, to the map I merchant. got maps. Can I interest you in a map, miss? Top notch, hand drawn in quality ink by skilled sunriders. Ain't no better in all the Northlands. Huh. How much uh, are your maps? How much are your maps? Ah, that depends, miss. I got a very nice one here of the Border Mountains for only six Harrens, fresh from the quill of a Sunrider. Maps, get your maps here! Aarons? What the hell is Aarons? Does it have more value than Canadian books? Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! Huh. Monopoly on maps? On city maps? Do we want to go to the Guild of Tourism? Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. <laughs> These are holidays? Sure, that makes sense. <laughs> Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, maps! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a busy guy. Get along with the neighbor. Which one? This one or this one? Bone Stark. What the hell is Stark? No, Vistrum Tobias. Vistrum Tobias. Mm, what's Arcadia like? What's Arcadia like? What can I say about a whole world, girl? It's a beautiful place for sure, but we're stuck in the past. We don't look ahead, not like our cousins in Stark. Magic is all well and good, but it won't bring our world into the modern age, and Arcadia is untamed. It's wild and unpredictable. Good for the map business, sure, but not so good for productivity and expansion. Huh. No, oh, some people may consider our world a paradise. The Sentinel, for one, they'd prefer to keep it just the way it is. Me, I'd like to see some changes, and fast. Uh, he has uh, opinions of his own. That doesn't reflect his like, personality, definitely. Well, what he looks like, at least. I guess it's bad. Uh, I guess it's my bad for actually, you know, assuming what kind of person he is. Hmm. Do you know about Stark? What do you know about Stark? 
land of wonders, strange customs, and machinery, ah, to be in Stark. Hmm. I'd give my right leg, well, perhaps not my right leg as such, you really need two sturdy legs to stand on in this business, or you'll find yourself... Um, uh, yes, uh, a grand place indeed, free of this blasted, chaotic, unpredictable magic does no good to anyone. Now, machines built by man, controlled by man, in servitude of man, that's the future, isn't it? Yes, the Vanguard may be a little unorthodox in their methods and teachings, but they're right about one thing. Stark and Arcadia belong together, not apart. Huh, so Stark and Arcadia are like uh, two different empires or two different... Uh, or two different continents? Huh. How do you get along with your neighbor? How do you get along with your neighbors? Neighbor. Cup's handler. Stay away from him, miss. He takes great joy in robbing people's purses. You can't beat him, not without magic. And he doesn't allow magic at his table. Hmm. How would he know if I did use magic? Oh, he's got one of those blasted talismans. They're always digging up magical artifacts in Chigagriel, and they sell them to dogs like him for Chigagriel? a coin or two. Get a proper job, you son of a mole! <laughs> okay, so uh, if we try to play with him, we're gonna lose every time, I assume. Not not that we actually need to play with him or anything, so it's easy for us to just avoid him altogether. Although I am interested. Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Tobias. Everyone knows Vestrum Tobias, girl. He's been an important part of this city for as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about him? The Vestrum is an honorable man, but a Vestrum. conservative one, and I don't know if he still has the best interests of the people at heart. Sometimes I think he worries too much about custom. The Sentinel have been our so-called protectors and keepers of the balance for so long we don't even think of it anymore. But now that the Vanguard are introducing a new way of thinking, new philosophies, I'm afraid the Sentinel will find their power diminished before too long. Their resistance to change will be their downfall. Mark my words, their downfall for certain. And Tobias, honorable man that he is, will be remembered as the captain who went down with his ship. Thanks for your help. Maps! <laughs> so we're still... Uh, really, there's a lot of things that we still don't know. Sentinel... Vanguard. Probably need to, uh, you know, go explore a little bit to probably learn more about these things. They're probably important. We don't know. Enough for me today, thanks. No maps for me today, thanks. Fair enough, miss, but don't expect me to come running to your aid if you ever get lost in Riverwood. Without my maps, you'll probably end up a mole's dinner or worse. Maps? Mole? What's a mole? Well, I know what's a mole, but what's a mole in this world? It's a game of some kind. Mm. Let's go ahead and talk to the sleazy merchant. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! Hmm, what kind of prizes? What can I win? What can I win? Well, there's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guyen. A superb replica of Mount Tyrannae cast in pure solid iron. Mm -hmm. A magic this. walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... 
<clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. I don't know if I want to teach my child what this uh, little bird can say. Hmm. He can cut some, sure of it. Uh. How do I play? How do I play? You put your coin down on the table. I put a cup on top of it and shuffled it around with the other two cups. And all you have to do is guess which one hides your coin. And remember, no magic used and none allowed. This amulet right here will light up if you use magic. Then you'll be banned for life. <laughs> banned for life? Which amulet? I'm um, going to assume this amulet. This over here. <laughs> Broke, thanks with no thanks. What if I ask uh, you a couple of questions? Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. Hmm. We ask about Vestrum Tobias. What do you know about Vestrum Tobias? Vestrum Tobias, eh? The high priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? That's a joke. Damn, nobody, uh, the last not a lot, they did not a lot of people like the people. No, they are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people, the Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but we're past due for a change. Radical? Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyran. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. Oh, shit. Racism already? Where the hell are these, Tyrant? Can they, uh, uh some, sort of a, some sort of a different race? Humanoid, even? Humans, even? Uh... So ask about Stark. Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean, you hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. A place where there's no magic, only science? Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. Hmm. What's Arcadia like? What's Arcadia like? What a queer question that is. Queer? What's the world like? It's big for one. And too expensive. <laughs> and they should ban Dalmari women from gambling because I swear, they have a second sight. Dalmari woman? What the hell is a Dalmari? Is that chick a Dalmari? Do you get along with your neighbor? Z How do you get along with your neighbor? Uh, now it's neighbor? Nice Alright. We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You know good oversized bag of wind? <laughs> Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? Uh... Sorry, Sorry, but I'm broke. But I'm broke. May the balance bring coin to your pocket, young lady, so that you may return to me and waste, uh, invest it in a game of cups. Yeah. Well, here, here. Prob I probably need to do that uh, sometime soon. Interesting uh, bird, though. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. Where to next? The city? I think that's that. Oh, this is the temple. So that's that. For this area. Definitely this area looked more expansive, but I guess that's that. Let's go ahead and head to the city. So this is Saul's, the city is, and the temple. 
Whoa! City gates and the marketplace. Oh, this area is big. This is definitely a different world. This is, uh... This is not the same world that we, uh, live in. That's for sure. Alright, to the city gates. Stout guardians of the city. Wooden, but stout. And that blue fire is way cool. These are w wooden, uh, statues? Are not... They're not afraid of these uh, getting burned by that, uh, blue fire? Or, uh, blue fire is different from, you know, from red fire. Regular fire. There's a stall here. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these, I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there, and what looks like half a guitar, and a couple of... Dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. <laughs> He's selling musical instruments. <laughs> nice. Uh huh. The walls Waltz. look ancient. Mercurium must be at least as old as anything back in the real uh in my world. The, the real world, Mercuria. And we're learning of she. She has, she's learning about names that we still don't know about. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating. This lady's selling fresh fish. I've never seen fish like this before. But if it's wet and has fins, fish it is. Uh, I really don't know. She's selling a variety of fresh fish. Fresh fish. Hmm. Let's move here. What's that? That's a merchant. This will uh, take us to the docks, huh? This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and... What the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. He's selling a variety of fresh shellfish and other, uh, delicacies. Purple? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what do you call it? Uh, it's not a stingray. No, 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 it's not a stingray. What's, uh, that, uh, that jelly, uh, jellyfish, yeah. Is it, is it not, is it not a jellyfish? Because, you know, jellyfish, uh, do... If if you if you can if you get contact with uh, with jellyfish, it will sting you. It'll sting you somehow, or it'll give you a, you know, a really bad rash. I'm not in the market for an instrument at this particular moment. Still, good to know where to get one in case of a musical emergency. Hmm. So we cannot uh, talk to him, huh? She's selling a variety of fresh fish. All right, let's go ahead and head to the dock. To the docks, we. Whoa. These uh, ships definitely look different. The water is still. <laughs> definitely, the effects. Th these are not effects for, uh, you know, for sea. Blue, Blue fire. fire. It's either propane or magic. I'm guessing the latter. Propane. Oh, ships. Galleons. The size of these galleons is truly breathtaking. And there are dozens of dozens of them, not to mention a number of smaller vessels. Mercury must be a very important and very busy port. It's a lighthouse, much like the ones we have at home, except this one, of course, burns a blue fire. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... And there are seagulls uh, here as well. Hmm. We can only uh, go towards the ship, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We cannot talk to these people. Let's go ahead and advance.
I'm gonna assume that we'll be advanced to... Huh? I did double click here, so... Why did it not advance? Who the hell is that? Assorted cargo. No. What's to talk to this person? Well, I, th I don't think I can. Assorted cargo. It's a small ship or boat. I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? Well, a boat is supposedly smaller than a ship. So that would be a ship. Judging Sailor. by his ungainly stance, I'd say he's a mariner pining for the sea. Pining for the sea, huh? Uh. It's a small ship. Oh, this will take us to the city. A small pier. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ahoy there, matey! <laughs> Pardon? Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. <laughs> what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny, nice day for it. We might even try a, how are you today then? <laughs> if we're feeling adventurous. But never, ever, ahoy. This is valuable information. Aye, matey, that it be. Hmm. Weren't you, uh, out at sea? Well, do we really need to know? Well, hey, let's go ahead and ask. Why aren't you out at sea? Do you see the sail on that barge over there? Yes. Is it flapping? What? Is it flapping? Is the sail flapping in the wind? Hmm. No wind, huh? Um, no. And why is that then? Because... because it's not... windy? Exactly. Well, can't you just use oars or something? Oars? Oh, what an excellent idea. Now, why didn't we think of that? Of course. Oars! By Jaws stunted left arm, that's it. What the hell is oars? Why have we been moored to the dock for a month with our merchandise dropping in value when we could have just rowed our way to Guillen? Ah. Uh. Are you being sarcastic? Sarcastic? Me? What in Jaws' name makes you think that? <laughs> How long it's been since the last wind? How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Wow. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. That's a lot of time. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him. But not one has returned. Oh. Now the a Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out. But I'm afraid that just might piss him off. I mean, he's just a single person. Is he important? And why? Um, goddamn, people can control uh, control wind with magic. Who's this alchemist who cast uh, a spell on the wind? Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north beyond Riverwood. Beyond Thanks for the chat. Aye. Nice day for it. <laughs> Not She's really, learning. No. <laughs> Aye. And he is gloomy. She's learning, though. <laughs> oh, who is that? Old sailor. Uh, lighthouse. It's a lighthouse. The blue fire is burning bright, a safe beacon for weary sailors, and a magnet for flowery prose. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. Uh, huh. I don't know. This, uh, I don't think this would you call that a toy. It's not, a, it's reasonably big. It's a boat. 
Uh, a chest. It's a quaint, old-fashioned treasure chest. I wonder if there's anything exciting inside it, like doubloons or whatever they're called. Doubloons? <laughs> it's an old treasure chest. I suck to this the guy. The old man and the uh, ocean. Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. You might want to consider waiting till you be out of earshot before you badmouth me. So uh, yeah, is this a is this a sea or an ocean? Interesting, actually, question. Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. And it be looking like a lifetime of shooting your mouth off be taking its toll on you. <laughs> and yous. And yous. All right, let's talk to this guy. Sorry for the BM. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. Damn, nice all tank. Oh shit, smoking it? No. Uh... But you've gotten uh, that chest. What have you gotten that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. Uh. I me stool carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure. That be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. Hmm. No, really. What's in the chest? No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Ay, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. Hmm. I think he's lying. I'm still curious about that <laughs> chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? Nope. I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. But it be where I keep me personal articles, and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. Hmm. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man, he be my best friend. Bird? I nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. I think you missed... <sighs> Does it happen to be a raven uh, or a uh, crow or whatever? What is that a crow or a raven? I really don't know. But yeah, I don't think he's in that chest. What happened to your talking bird? What happened to your talking bird? I be he cheated out of him. I that cups handler on the marketplace be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. Hmm. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I my best friend taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. I be all lonesome now. Damn, feels the bad, man. The part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. <laughs> oh. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Plump? Damn. He likes uh, his woman thick, huh? Care to share some of your uh, maritime stories with me? Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Mar what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear then? Hmm. 
Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. I I be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire. Bakshivan. If you be interested, it'll be a tale of grand romance. Just up your alley, be sure of it. Uh, sounds like a fine story. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. Aye, it be near on fifty years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. <laughs> The what? <laughs> what do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The Whistle What's It. Uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? It's called the Three-Legged uh, Whore. Anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Mount Herva, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sits out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Mount Herba be ruled by a mock. A mock? Like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, the He's having it all to, to, to his own. having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Mm. Er, and so I sets out on my own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands <laughs> and that be me adventures in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Dus and the romance the mock's daughter. Oh shit, way how to I go. I be chased from Mount Herba by the mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Yeah. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? Oh, she's dead. No, she's alive. <laughs> what? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. Ah. <laughs> Good story, though. Solid. Solid material. Ever consider doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Hmm? Oh, so they take an outrageous commission then? No, they actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Huh. Huh. Okay. Actual vampires. Nice. I'd love to hear m some more m maritime stories, really? I'd love to hear some more maritime stories. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? Will he actually say something new here? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. You want ma? Damn be me wooden left ankle. I be having a great old tale to tell yous about how I be coming to have me wooden pecker. It all began... Uh... You know what? On second thought, forget about it. Wooden... Uh, pecker as in... Pecker, pecker? Hmm. Uh, actually, I can't, uh, c I can't tell if his... Uh, if his... Uh, this leg is actually wooden? Doesn't look like it. I'd love to... Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy. Any t you want more? You know what? Ah. I think we're I not gonna. Go ah, you's young'uns will be we're not gonna hear anything. Around. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. All right. So that's that. Uh. 
Oh, enter sink. Too bad about uh, the, you know, the woodpecker. The wooden pecker, actually, not a woodpecker. <laughs> So, uh, huh. I think that's that. We, we, can, we can't go to the, uh, can't go to the, uh, to the lighthouse, huh? Or anywhere else. Oh, that, uh, that guy, we've seen that guy leave, uh, leave, uh, you know, leave the captain, leave the captain here, there. Should we follow him? Maybe we do need to follow him. Hmm. Maybe uh, we don't need to. Okay. Those, those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating in the new port. The pier, the city. Yeah, let's go ahead to the marketplace. Okay, let's head back to the temple. I think we've explored enough. We'll probably have a... We'll be having some sort of an objective now. 